So where do all these experiments take place? In someone's kitchen? In their bedroom? No, it happens in a laboratory. A laboratory is a room that is specifically designed for conducting experiments in a safe and efficient way. Let's look at what we will find in a biology laboratory. The tools used in laboratories are called apparatus. They can be classified into different categories. The first one is for holding objects. These include tongs, test tube holders, spatulas, and forceps. Then there are apparatus for measuring things. These include measuring cylinders, weighing balance, stopwatch, and ruler. Then we have apparatus for heating. These include Bunsen burner, test tube, beaker, and spirit burner. Finally, we have apparatus for storing things. These would include dark bottles to store light-sensitive chemicals in, plastic bottles for solid and powdered chemicals, round-bottomed flasks, volumetric flasks, and flat-bottomed flasks. Let's look at some apparatus in more detail. This is called a desiccator and is used for drying specimens. These are rubber bands to prevent gases or liquids from escaping out during experiments. These are called droppers and are used to transfer liquids drop by drop. This sweep net is used for catching flying animals such as insects. These are called forceps and are used to pick up dangerous small animals. This is a specimen bottle that is used to store and preserve collected animal or plant specimens. This is a hand lens and can be used to magnify small objects and organisms. This is a microscope. It is used to look at specimens more closely. This is a thermometer and is used to measure temperature. Finally, we have the dissecting kit, which contains various equipment needed for dissecting organisms. An important thing to remember is that the biology laboratory is different to other school facilities. The biology laboratory contains preserved specimens like lizard and plants, whereas other school facilities do not. The biology laboratory is where various scientific experiments are conducted. Experiments are not conducted in other school facilities except other laboratories. Also, there are special rules in the biology laboratory, but we will look at those in another lesson. So what have we learned? The biology laboratory is a room or building specifically designed for conducting scientific investigations and experiments. We know that the tools in a biology laboratory are called apparatus. They can be categorized into the following categories, holding, measurement, heating, and storage. Remember that the biology laboratory is different to other school facilities as they contain preserved organisms and is a place where experiments are conducted. In the next lesson, we will look at the rules and regulations of the biology laboratory. If you'd like to know more about the biology laboratory, you should ask your teacher to give you a tour. There's so much to see and do in the biology laboratory.